Kitchen's too warm. No, the kitchen's too warm. The kitchen's too warm? So it's kicked in on a safety mode. So it's not... Um, so it's not tempering. Let's give up the ghost. It says too on here, so I, I can't do my job if it's too warm. Yeah. So it's bright out here. Cool down a little bit. We'll right. see how we go. If not, I'll we'll temper it by hand. Looks like he's having a bit of an arm, isn't it? But it still won't work. And Anton is having to scoop out the chocolate and revert to an old-fashioned technique. So your machine's broken now, so Anthony, so what you've got to do now, you're going to temper it by hand. I'm running out of time. Now he's having to think on his feet. He's melting the chocolate and trying to control the temperature with ice. Normally you wouldn't bring water anywhere near chocolate for this type of thing, but ice were into the chocolate. No. Underneath. Oh, you were frightening ruin. me then. One slip of the water would obviously just ruin all this chocolate. Yeah, absolutely. He's within degrees of disaster, and it's too late in the day to start again. You know, I, I, it's really impressive that you, you, you have that knowledge. It's just it's as well, though, isn't it? There's not, not many cooks know how to temper, is there, chocolate? White chocolate's a devil as well, isn't it? One of the worst. Well, I didn't know that. And it's also surprising to hear Nigel complimenting his rival after their earlier skirmishes. I think Anton has gone up in his estimation. We just had to revert back to a few classic methods, which I'm sure he's chuckling his ass about. I'm concerned, you know, because I need you to get this dessert out. We're getting there, we're getting there. Don't you worry. I'll be there on time. What do you mean you'll be there on time? I'll be there on time. Three hours late now. He's only joking. The Kurt tarts only just finished cooking. It's out of the oven, it's done. That's lovely and golden. It just needs to set up now for 20 minutes or so. I'm glad it's not me faffing about like this. If this happens tomorrow, he's going to have big problems. I wouldn't want to win by default at all. <laughs> but winning's winning. <laughs> Anthony's finally tempered his chocolate and is smoothing it onto transfers. So, ah, you've got, you've got it on the transfers now. Yeah, we're on. We've gone through the pain barrier of all the issues of the chocolate. We're on. We've got this uh, tempered. Yeah. I'm going to beat you. Yeah, you're going to beat me. But I am, I am on now. You've still got that arrogance and confidence, haven't you? Yeah? Arrogance. Confidence That's it is. Up, arrogance yeah. it isn't. Is Anthony creating the winning dessert? Nigel certainly thinks he's taken long enough preparing it. That's what we love. Hope it's going to be worth the wait. <laughs> Tony? Hello. Hope it's going to be worth the wait. Yeah, totally. <laughs> you can't rush perfection, Tony. <laughs> totally say, mate. He's slicing up his cream cheese and green olive mousse, and Nigel's adding his specially chosen rose water to his yogurt and cream. It's time to plate up. Nigel's cool, calm, and collected as he spoons out his rose-flavored cream, places the curd tart, and then sprinkles the dish with red currants. Is this simplicity at its best? We'll see. Come on, Tony. Come on, Anthony is moving on to the construction phase. His chocolate sheets are topped with cream cheese and green olive mousse, then another chocolate sheet, then the olive oil ice cream, and then a problem. It's falling off, Tony. Couldn't happen at the worst yeah. time, could it? Poor Anthony, but he does take a lot of risks. He fixes it fast, though, and finishes the dish with a dollop of calamansi foam. Let's go, let's go. I'm having that one. <laughs> <laughs> Superb, let's go.